Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So about a week or two ago, I surpassed 100,000 subscribers and look what I received today in the mail. I can't wait to open this baby up and celebrate this moment with you. Okay, I'm just opening it now. I'm so excited! I don't know why today I'm so like high energy and energetic but oh my god! It's like I want to open it and I also don't want to open it at the same time. When you're so excited for something and you're like, I will only open it once in my lifetime. So it's what I'm feeling right now. There's a little card. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thank you, Rick. And then there's this very nice paper. <laughs> and now, oh my god! <laughs> see myself in the button this part and it's like wow I did that you know like I did that I achieved this presented to Clara Dow for passing 100,000 subscribers YouTube this is so special this is so special I love it I love it so much before I thought that I would cry <laughs> for this moment but I'm surprised that I don't cry <laughs> I, I, I love it so much. I love it. I can't stop saying I love it. Thank you. This is the actual makeup that I want to wear today. As you can see, it's a really, it's quite a thick makeup. It's the makeup that you, you wear for a, a holiday party or, or yeah, a, a festive makeup. It's so crazy to look back because I always wanted to be a YouTuber or be on YouTube since high school. Hey guys, it's Clara here and I'm really excited to talk to you today. So there are countless times that I just like turn on my phone and just practicing speaking to the camera. I'll be the Sorry, I got emotional and it was like back in high school like five years ago if you have followed me for a while and watched my other videos you may know that back in high school I was nowhere near where I am today like in terms of confidence and self-love I struggled so much with just my appearance and my self-hatred and everything so back then when I filmed a video and when I watched the video that I filmed I just like I just felt so insecure and I could never post it because I thought that I didn't look good enough to be on YouTube and especially then when I watch other youtubers I just like oh my god like how can they look so perfect and then I just compare myself to these really big youtubers and feel like I could never match up and that's why I didn't have the courage to start a YouTube channel and to post anything because I felt like I was not good enough so throughout my university years like my first year second year I was still in that same mindset pretty much of just like not liking my chest not liking my face not liking how I talk now I look back I do admit that I talk pretty weird back then I think you know my English was not that good either so it's like insecurity over insecurity and I never had kind of enough courage to 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 put out anything even though secretly I I really want to 
to to do it so I remember that I actually write on my 10-year plan back when I was 17 I actually wrote down a 10-year plan outlining everything that I want to achieve uh, in the next 10 years from 17 to 27 years old and uh, in there I actually I wish I had a picture I will check if I have a picture but I actually wrote down on the plan that I want to become a youtuber I want to create uh, videos on YouTube to help other people uh, and back then I had no idea what kind of topics that I want to create or talk about I just wanted to create something to help people and that's that's what I wrote down when I was 17 and I didn't act on that until I got into third year of university so three years later so things really changed after I got my double jaw surgery which drastically improved my smile drastically improved how I talk drastically improved my appearance and it just gave me such a confidence boost that I finally felt like I am comfortable putting myself out there and also at that time I was really 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 close to my ex which is still a very good friend of mine until now but back then we were we were friends and back then he was very invested and interested in social media because he himself has his own business in social media management for small businesses right so we were very close we would hang out like almost every day and back then I wasn't like I wasn't that interested in social media per se like I kind of in my head I thought that social media is harmful I try to stay away from social media as much as I could but because we hang out so much with each other he really encouraged me to give social media a try 2019 is a year that I feel like I'm gonna put all of that into action if I want to do something I will go for it Think about the good of social media and how much of an impact that uh, I can have if I utilize social media to spread a positive message. So I made a commitment to myself that from this day, I'm gonna learn to love my flat chest for what it is. And I was like, sure, you know, like maybe I should give it a try. You know, just over time, I just felt more comfortable with the idea of using social media as a way for me to express myself and spread my message. You don't need anyone's validation to be beautiful. Even when people around you criticize you, and tell you that you should look a certain way, that you should gain weight, that you should lose weight, that you should have plastic surgery, that you should fix this, should fix that, should be, should walk, should talk, should behave, should act in any, in a different way, to be a certain way, to be someone that you're not, don't listen to that. Coming into 2019, that was when I kind of set a motto for myself that this year I'm just gonna do what I fucking love. And so that was my motto for 2019. And I thought back about, you know, the dream that I had three years ago, which is to, to have a YouTube channel. And I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna create a video and post it and just really make it happen, you know. And yeah, I did it. <laughs> and I posted my first video in in February of 2019 just talking about how I'm gonna fuck everything and just do what I fucking love and I'm just like thinking back about that video and I, I just felt so thankful for my past self because I decided to go with it I decided to just put myself out there I decided to film a video and I decided to to post it and now now I'm here <laughs>